All right, and here we are with the world's most expensive scuff controller reveal. All right, I can finally say it's a 1v1 situation. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be buying the most expensive scuff controller possible. Now, some of you may know I do already own a scuff 4PS Pro controller, but I've been quite interested in what features actually come with a scuff, or better yet, what happens when you get every possible add-on you can and how much will it cost. But just before the video starts, if we could hit 20,000 likes on this video, I will definitely do more of these types of videos. And if you do enjoy this type of content, consider using code flea in the item shop because like this controller is gonna be expensive no but anyway without further ado let's buy the most expensive scuff controller possible all right what do we got here so on the scuff website play faster yeah let's play faster i want to be so fast that i double my edit speed so here we have the selection so you got the 4ps pro the impact and the prestige and i'm gonna go with the impact just because i like the ps4 button layout all right spectrum build yours yeah i want to build mine all right what design we want i want the primo designs what have we got 15 dollars designs or oh, 20 dollars designs yeah that's what we want no 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 Ooh. all right cherry blossom definitely looks the best so we're gonna go with that Next, EMR, well, $15, don't even know what it does, but we're gonna get it. Trigger, control system, another 17, chuck it on, colors. Colorful triggers, I guess we're gonna get red triggers to match the design. Next, all right, and bumpers. So we got digital tap and colors. Let's put on digital tap. Oh, okay, so when we select digital tap, we actually only get one color option. But when we go back to default, we get more color options. I said most expensive, so we're gonna get the digital. And next, concave or convex, we're gonna get concave. Height is short and color is oh okay i might actually get white thumbsticks and i'm gonna get that little ring around the thumbstick red hopefully i can customize that so give me them white thumbsticks rings oh yeah rings all right yeah so we want red mm -hmm. I'm thinking white and red or red and white. I'm just going to go with red. That's just my gut feeling. Next, we have control disc. Oh, I don't really want a control disc because they are like really ugly. I know it's $8, but it's going to be like the only thing I don't get. Next. Okay, button. So we'll probably probably go with red. I think red will look the best. Oh, ruby looks good. What's the difference between red and ruby? Oh, ruby's more expensive. So we're definitely going to get the ruby. After that, we got grips. Oh, military grade or high performance. I have military grade on my other scarf so i'm gonna go with high performance and for this controller we're gonna take the vibration out because it costs more next add a player's pack upgrade your setup with our player pack all the essentials for your controller you bet i'm getting a player's pack all right and the total comes to 289.45 which in my currency is 516 dollars 70 dollars 516. I could literally buy seven of these controllers and it wouldn't even equal to how much one of these controllers is. Show product details. Oh yeah, just one of everything. Okay, it literally says that ships between May 4th to May 18th. So I'm not gonna get this controller for like over a month. Oh, it's a long time to wait for a video. I'll do it. All right, and place order. Thank you for your purchase. We're getting your order ready to be shipped. We'll notify you when it's sent. Alrighty, so there goes a $500 and I'll see you guys in about a month. Two months. This right here took two months. This better be the best controller I've ever seen or I'm gonna be mad. As you can probably tell, a lot has changed since that intro. Like, it's been two months. I got a wife and kids now, I got a mortgage, I'm working a nine to five. All I'm trying to say is life has changed since then. But hey, two months later, it finally came. So why don't we go ahead and unbox this thing and see what it's all about. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the video you've all been waiting for probably too long as well. So here we are with the scuff impact, as you can see, and it also came with this little carrying case. So it doesn't actually come with the controller inside this thing. The controller comes in its usual packaging and it gives you this little casing. So it feels like something's in here. I'm just going to open it up and see what that is. 
this and open this up okay so it looks like we got straight away thumbsticks so these are probably replacement thumbsticks for the controller we have uh oh okay a good quality cable that comes with this i think this was the add-on package that i got at the end it's been so long since i filmed it but it looks like these are actually gold plated as well i'm just gonna zoom in here you can kind of see that they are actually gold plated it's kind of hard to tell with all the purple leds going on in my room but they actually are gold that is pretty cool and they also give you a packet of gamer grip so i have made a video on this stuff before basically it's like a last resort for sweaty hands so if your hands are literally like waterfalls and you don't know how to stop them from sweating this stuff will definitely do the trick but yeah i'm assuming that comes with the packaging i don't think i got that extra so that's everything and then you got this case here so this is the case really nothing special to the case definitely not up to standard as the other pro controllers case but it's a carrying case nonetheless so i'm just going to put the accessories back in there for now and put that to the side and here we have the controller guys i have waited so long for this controller i don't think i've ever begged for likes on my channel in my life but i'm begging you please drop a like on this video if this video gets 100,000 likes i'll consider doing this more so actually customizing controllers and getting them sent out i also really appreciate anyone that uses code flea in the item shop because it really does support these original videos all right and here we are with the world's most expensive scuff controller reveal oh wait never mind it's just oh i forgot this was on top already world's most expensive scuff controller bang here we oh okay wait this looks insane what no way this actually looks really cool i gotta give credit to scuff man it's a really cool experience customizing your controller and then actually receiving what you've customized so on top okay so it looks like we didn't get the red triggers because i think when you get digital tap you can't actually customize the color all right but let's go over all the things i think i remember customizing on this controller so it looks like we do have trigger stoppers on both triggers we do in fact have four paddles on the back we also have this sort of like hexagon mesh grip on the back and uh moving over to the front so we got all red action buttons touchpad just looks normal yeah ladies and gentlemen this is the world's most expensive scuff controller you can possibly customize one thing i've also noticed is that the controller feels really really light but that's obviously because i got rid of the vibration the digital tap triggers they feel nice but they feel almost like too sensitive like it almost takes no weight to press them in i'm not a huge fan of those but we'll see how that feels when we start playing well that's going to be it for the unboxing of this controller i'm really happy with how it turned out although it did take two months what do you say we jump in fortnite and try this thing out all right we have finally loaded in fortnite and we are all set up ready to go so i do actually have this scuff vantage controller bluetooth as you can see there are no wires coming out of this controller and i just found for this controller anyway that the input delay was a lot lower on bluetooth so that's just something to keep in mind but yeah let's check out what these paddles do so this paddle is circle this paddle is i think triangle yeah so that paddle is triangle okay that paddles jump so circle triangle x and square is my paddles and of course you already know how it is a one galaxy control freak on the right stick let's free build with this thing and try it out so just cranking 90s right now getting a feel for the controller the good thing I like about this controller is that it feels so much like a normal PS4 controller. It'd be so easy for me to get used to. It's not like an Xbox controller where the analog sticks are different and all the buttons feel different. Like this controller, because it's so much like a PS4 controller, it'd be really easy for me to get used to. I also just thought I'd mention that I only have uh, one camera working at the moment. So I'm going to do face cam for the 1v1s just so I can talk to you guys about the controller. And then when I do solos, I'll do the hand cam. So I'm just going to really get a feel for these digital tap triggers. Just listen to what they sound like. They're almost like too sensitive. Like I'm a really rough player. Like when I hold the controller, I hold it really tight and I press my buttons like really hard. But this is like so sensitive. Like look how sensitive this is. It's probably really hard to show on camera, but like... It takes almost, like, you can barely see I'm 
pressing that button. Like you can't even see me pressing that button right now. The digital tap almost feels squishy because I'm pressing them so hard. I don't actually feel that click at all. Yeah, I think I'm ready to try some 1v1. So I will be playing Claw. I obviously can't just jump onto four paddles straight away. Yeah, man. Bluetooth on this controller is a different breed. Like it feels so good, really responsive. All right, let's go first to 1v1s on the world's most expensive scuff controller. Oh. 200, good night. Did not mean to do that. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it's such a mission editing. I don't know what it is about the scuff controller. I think it's because the sticks like are a bit longer than a normal controller. I feel like I have to do like a lot bigger movements. So one thing I'm noticing already, I am someone to really get sweaty hands and I'm definitely noticing it on this cuff controller. It is already really slippery as well as I'm not sure whose idea it was to make these rubber, but rubber analog sticks are really making it super slippery. Oh, ho, ho. let's go, man. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Oh, come on. Where is he? Oh, ho. Our blade, bro. Let's go. Oh, I just ended his whole career. What? Uh, so one thing I am noticing about this scuff controller is that the bumpers and triggers because that's my select button when I edit and that's my reset button. It really just makes editing like pretty hard to be honest. It's probably because I'm not used to it. Oh my, what just happened? Oh, let's go. All right, and there's gonna be all the 1v1s on this controller. So now I'm gonna set up the hand cam, jump into Battle Royale, and see if I can get a victory royale with it. All right, and here we are on the scuff controller, ready to win a solo. Wow, man, this controller actually feels, it feels pretty good. I'm gonna try and go Frenzy Farm. Oh, well, I fell a bit short for Frenzy, so we're just gonna go here. Oh, no, oh, don't kill me. Ah! Run, 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 run. Ah! Better. Oh, I see some. I think it's a bot. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely a bot. Oh, it's the LEA skin. <laughs> oh, GG. <laughs> GG, man. So I know this sounds stupid, but one thing I like about the scuff controller is that it's really similar to just a normal PS4 controller. And <laughs> that's something that I like because I use a normal PS4 controller. It definitely makes getting used to it a lot easier.
Uh, I think both of them were bots. But yeah, man, out of all the controllers I've tried, um, this one's definitely the easiest for me to get used to. Doesn't mean it's the best, it's just the easiest to get used to. Oh, how'd that miss? What? <laughs> yeah, that was definitely a bot. Ooh. Hey, buddy. I think this is another bot. Bop. Yeah, so I'm kind of getting used to it, as you can see. Oh. How are you? How is he not dead after like four pump shots? Oh. Watch this, ready? <laughs> oh yes, I love that. Works every time. All right, I can finally say it's a 1v1 situation. Oh wait, what? Never mind. That was very anticlimactic. GG's main. Let's go. All right, guys, and that is going to be it for this video. So, in conclusion, was the world's most expensive scuff controller actually worth it? Not really. <laughs> I mean, it looks really cool, I'm not gonna lie. The fact that scuff controllers have so much customization is actually pretty cool. But at the end of the day, you're really just customizing a PS4 controller with some extra paddles. But even then, it's still not worth five to eight times the price of a normal controller. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless. It was a really fun one to make. If you did make it all the way to the end of the video, that's some dedication. Drop a watermelon emoji in the comments, so I know you did. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.